Hello, it's Gordon here, and this Facebook Live I've called Perspective. Keep things in perspective. We had a um, super blood wolf moon this week and got to see it from here in the UK. Um, super moon because it's one of the ones that's closer, clo on its closest path to the Earth. It was a full moon. It was a blood moon because it was a lunar eclipse as well, so it went red. And it's a wolf moon because it's the first full moon of the year. The January full moon tends to be the wolf moon. And when I took pictures of the super moon back in 2015, I used it to create, to create some of my quote images. And I was reminded of those this week. And one of them was perspective, keep things in perspective. And I'll post the quote image below this video once I've posted the video. Now, when it comes to perspective, there's several definitions about what perspective might mean. But I like to think of it in terms of relating to our surroundings. And when you look at a lunar eclipse, a blood moon or the moon in general, and you think about the moon, how, how vast it is, taking a month to revolve around the sun and then the earth how vast that is, taking a year to revolve around the sun, and how vast the sun, well, you get the idea with that one. That when you take about the other way, our place in the universe is tiny, minuscule, but not insignificant. Because when we get down to the individual level, it seems as though we're the center of the universe. We're certainly the center of our universe. But if you think about the moon around the earth, the earth around the sun and so on and so on and so on, that relentless moving of time, it's not going to stop for us. It's not going to stop for you and it's not going to stop for me. And if that's the case, which it is, what are we doing with it? What are we doing with our time? Because we've all got the same 24 hours in the day. So in the five key areas of life, as I like to think of them, health, wealth, career, relationships, lifestyle. What are you doing with your time? Are you using it with intention and direction towards something that means something to you? Are you living in line with your passions? What brings joy to your soul? What makes you feel alive? In which case, good. Or, or are you not? Are you basically frittering away your time doing things that you think you should be doing or that other people are telling you you should be doing? And if you are frittering away that time, if the honest answer is yes, you are frittering away, then here's the question that can be transformational, the kind of thing I cover over at transformyourlifenow.com. The question is, why? Is it a fear of failure? Is it a fear of finance? Is it a fear of, again, what other people might think or might say? And it normally is a combination or one of, it's fear basically, but that fear stops us from getting to the freedom, a lot of F words, that we ultimately all want. Freedom to be ourselves, to do what we want, to say what we want, to think what we want, to be what we want. Now, another angle to look at from perspective and keeping things in perspective is this way we relate to others. When it comes to treating other people, the old adage of treating other people as you'd like to be treated yourself is never a bad one, is it? That's always a good one. But what happens if other people or life circumstances don't treat us as we'd like to be treated? That's not fair, is it? Surely we can't just ignore that. Well, keeping things in perspective is not the same as ignoring it. I'm not saying we should ignore it. But when you keep it in perspective, here's what you do. 
you look at what some what someone does to you or what someone says to you or how someone treats you or whether you break a fingernail or if someone cuts you up in traffic you think will that matter in 10 weeks perspective will it matter in 10 days perspective will it matter in 10 minutes perspective and if the answer is no it's not going to matter in 10 minutes so it's not going to matter in 10 days certainly not going to matter in 10 weeks don't overreact keep things in perspective if it is going to matter in 10 minutes and 10 days and 10 weeks things like bullying intimidation forcing you to follow Alex, their agenda instead of yours well that kind of thing does matter and then keeping things in perspective in terms of relating to others and your surroundings and bearing in mind what I've already said about the five key areas and how you're using your time then yes that needs to be tackled now you might say it's not always as easy as that and I would say correct it isn't always as easy as that is it but that doesn't mean that the theory isn't simple and easy to get on top of and to start to embed into yourself because once you start to embed that mantra and that idea and you start to take on that persona of someone who is prepared to stand your ground perspective wise and deal with these issues perspective wise then guess what your thoughts words and actions are going to start to do they're going to start to follow suit so it starts with the attitude and belief set and that's why it's important to keep things in perspective <laughs> So let me know what you think about this point of perspective, about A, our perspective in terms of time, the movement of the moon, the earth around the sun, all the rest of it, and how we're using that time on an individual basis. And secondly, about perspective about how people or things or life affects us. And when we react, are we reacting with perspective or are we overreacting due to lack of perspective. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you saw the super blood wolf moon this week or whether it was cloudy, which it often is here in the UK. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you fancy finding out more about keeping things in perspective and using your time to follow your passions and maybe turning your passions into profit online, you can find out about that at transformyourlifenow.com. Signing off for now. Hope all is well with you. Wishing you as ever health and happiness and I will speak to you again soon.